about eight or nine of us uh, gathered in the Little Rock area a minimum of once a month for two and three hour meetings where we began to formulate what we could imagine as an advocacy organization. work that we have done uh, since 1977 has actually been in a lot of different areas. I mean, we've, uh, I mean, we worked on health care, we've worked on juvenile justice, uh, we worked on the range of education issues, we worked on child welfare, state tax and budget issues. And so for us, it's, it's not just working on one issue, but it's working on all the issues uh, that we know are going to impact children and families. I think that's what's been so amazing about Arkansas Advocates is that it has tried to change systems and to educate our people and our legislators because a lot of those systems can only be changed through legislation. I was in the legislature for 18 years and uh, quickly Advocates became a very valuable resource for me uh, on issues that were important to me like pre-K and our kids, uh, providing health insurance. Every time we talk about an issue with the legislature, one of the first questions is going to be, well, what does that cost? And what's the return on investment? I can depend on that kind of research from advocates. The legislators might disagree or agree with advocates, but nobody ever questions their information. And that is golden, <laughs> that nobody questions that. Their advocacy is not self-serving. Their, their advocacy is for the, the weakest and the people without political voice in Arkansas. And that really gives us the credibility that we need to do our jobs uh, when we don't have a stake in what happens when a policy passes because we're not providing direct service. That really gives us the credibility that we need to remind lawmakers, you know, we don't have a stake in this. We're only doing this because it's a good idea for kids and we know it'll work in Arkansas. I think one of the things when I look back that was could be considered a tipping point was when Amy Rossi worked with Governor Huckabee to develop the Our Kids Insurance Program. And the impact of that program is one that um, crossed partisan lines and is still can be spoken of with great respect. You know, Our Kids First has just done so much for uh, working families. You know, these are parents um, who have just enough um, money that they don't qualify for Medicaid, but that were having health insurance for their children would be a tremendous burden on the family. And so they get affordable health care coverage, but the other thing better than just the fact that it's affordable is that it's really good coverage. If we don't uh, provide a foundation for those kids, both through an educational system and a health care system, that allows them to reach their potential, then Arkansas will continue to suffer and be a poor uh, southern state, 49th or 50th every year in terms of per capita income in the nation. So we have to, from an economic standpoint, we have to confront those issues. And uh, Arkansas Advocates has a stellar history in being an advocate for those issues and providing the research uh, to give the, the, the legislature and the governors over time uh, the information they may need to make good, wise decisions. But the way the information is brought to the legislature really matters. We tend not to have time to, to read big tomes of things. And so advocates tends to bring it to us in terms of charts so we can make an impression very quickly. And they have top-notch people working on these policy issues, whether it's education, whether it's poverty, whether it's, whether it's people's civil rights. They, they just hire folks that I know I can depend on. We hire people who are really committed to the mission and who are really committed to improving the lives of children and families. And I found that once you uh, uh, go after those types of people, um, and then you find those types of people with the right skill sets, I mean, then you're gonna end up with really good staff. If you're a legislator who wants to approach policy choices from an informed perspective, uh, then Arkansas Advocates is absolutely indispensable. Every day on the darkest days I knew that, that Advocates for Children and Families uh, was going to be there talking about pre-K and talking about early childhood education with me. They never failed that. So now we are poised to go back to the next session to try to get what the, what the kids of this state need. I think Advocates has its work cut out for centuries to come, really, because the issues and problems that we formed Arkansas Advocates to address, none of them is completely solved. 
And even if they were, there will be new issues, new problems, new challenges for the state. And so there will always be a need for a dispassionate, objective, nonpartisan voice on behalf of children and families in our state.